So now we're going to be solving inequalities. And inequalities are very similar to equalities, except, except instead of using the equality sign, equal sign, we have the um, inequality sign, right? So it's a less than or greater than or great, uh, less than or greater than signs or less than or equal to and greater than or equal to signs. So let's see. So let's take a look at our problem here. And we have this inequality. We have negative 4 is less than v minus 7 eighths. So the goal is the same. We want to get our variable on one side of the inequality by itself, right? So what do we have? We have this minus 7 eighths over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 7 eighths to get rid of it. So that means I need to add 7 eighths over onto this side of the inequality. It's still saying that I'm when I talk about sides, I'm talking about a side of the inequality sign, right? Or, so these go away, and now I'm, I'm happy. I have my v by itself, and I have negative 4 over 1 plus 7 eighths, right? So I'm simply making that over 1, because I know I have a fraction here, and I need to if I want to add or subtract anything with a fraction, I need to find a common denominator. So again, our common denominator is going to be 8, right? And since I have a 7 eighths over here, what did I need to do to multiply, what did I need to multiply by to get my denominator for the 4 to be 8? So I needed to multiply that by 8, which need, means I need to multiply my numerator by 8, which gives me a negative 32 on that side, right? is less than v. So now I can put everything over the same denominator and I have negative 32 plus 7. So remember when I'm adding two, uh, two numbers with different signs, I basically do a subtraction and then I, the sign of the larger number wins. So I know that the larger number is, gonna, is negative 32, so it's going to be negative. 32 minus 7 is uh, 25. So I have negative 25 over 8 is less than v. So you could leave it like this, but the more conventional way is to always have your variable come first. So I would actually prefer to write it as v, and I have negative 25 over 8 on this side. Because I'm bringing that, because I'm bringing the v over to the left, the side, the equal, the inequality sign that's larger is facing that v, so it needs to stay that way. So it's saying that v is larger, is greater than negative 25 over 8. Okay, so that's the same answer. Okay, let's try another one. Here we're going to be solving for w. Our, our inequality is w minus 1 6th is greater than or equal to negative four-fifths. Again, my goal is to get my w by itself, so I need to add one-sixth to both sides because I'm subtracting one-sixth from it. And again, remember I'm talking about sides of the inequality sign. So these go away and I simply have w is greater than or equal to negative four-fifths plus one-sixth. So there's our uh, addition of fractions, and we should be comfortable with that. Now we need to find a common denominator. So our least common denominator is 30. So I'm looking to find a way to get both of these fractions with a denominator of 30. In the meantime, my w is still greater than whatever is going on over on this side. So in order to take four-fifths, I needed to multiply this number by six. So I need to multiply the numerator by six, and that's going to give me a negative 24. For one-sixth, I needed to multiply it by five. Six multiplied by five gives me 30, so I need to multiply the numerator by 30. I'm sorry, by five, and so I get 1 times 5 is 5. Now I can combine them because they have the same denominator. I still have my w over here. 
I have negative 24 plus 5, and all of that's over the same denominator, which is 30. So w is greater than or equal to negative 24 plus 5. Again, I'm adding two numbers with different signs. So I do a subtraction. 24 minus 5 is, whoops, 24 minus 5 is 19. And because the larger number was negative, the number stays negative over 30. And I'm okay here because my w is on the left. I like to have my variable on the left, so this is a good way to end.